morning. Welcome to morning prayer on Friday. So it's hard to believe it's the end of the week already. Uh, time is going by. Um, so, so glad that you could join Tom and I on this Friday morning. Um, hope you are ready and uh, comfy in your comfortable chair or at the kitchen table or wherever you see us. Um, I'm so glad that you joined us. Let us prepare. O oh Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare your praise. praise. Glory, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O oh, come, let us worship him. Alleluia. O oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise the loud a shout with him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it. And his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us worship him. Alleluia. Our psalm today is Psalm 148. Hallelujah, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all you angels of his. Praise him, all you his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all you shining stars. Praise him, heaven of heavens, and your waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for he commanded, and they were created. He made them stand fast forever and ever. He gave them a law which shall not pass away. Praise the Lord from the earth, you sea monsters in all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and fog, tempestuous wind, doing his will. Mountains and all hills fruit trees and all cedars, wild beasts and all cattle, creeping things and winged birds, kings of the earth and all people, princes and all rulers of the world, young men and maidens, old and young together, let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is exalted, his splendor is over heaven, earth and heaven. He has raised up strength for his people and praise for all his lo loyal servants, the children of Israel, a people who are near him. Hallelujah. Let us pray. God most high, by your word you created a wondrous universe, and through your spirit you breathed into it the breath of life. Accept creation's hymn of praise from our lips, and let the praise that is sung in heaven resound in the heart of every creature on earth. To the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Well, we continue in the book of Leviticus this day, and that's Friday, uh, but we move up to chapter 23 and begin with the first verse. The Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel the appointed feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim as holy convocations, my appointed feasts and these. Six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy con uh, convocation, you shall do no work. It is a Sabbath to the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the appointed feasts of the Lord, the holy convocations, which you shall proclaim at the time appointed for them. In the first month, on the 14th day of the month, in the evening, is the Lord's Passover. And on the 15th day of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread to the Lord. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no laborious work, but you shall present an offering by fire to the Lord seven days. On the seventh day is the holy convocation. You shall do no laborious work. And the Lord said to Moses, Say to the people of Israel, When you come into the land which I give you and reap its harvest, you shall bring the sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. And he shall wave the sheaves before the Lord, that you may find acceptance on the morrow. After the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it. And on the day when you wave the sheaf, you shall offer a male lamb, 
a year old without blemish as a burnt offering to the Lord. And the cereal offering, which is shall be uh, two tenths of an ephah and a fine flour mixed with oil to be offered by fire to the Lord, a pleasing odor. And the drink offering with, uh, with it shall be of wine, a fourth of a hin. And you shall eat neither bread nor grain, uh, parched, uh, parched or f- fresh, until this uh, until the same day, until you have brought the offering of your God. It is a statue for every through forever throughout your generations in all your dwellings. And you shall count from the marrow after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering. Seven full weeks shall they be counting 50 days to the morrow after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall present a cereal offering of new grain to the Lord. You shall bring forth from your dwelling two loaves of bread to be waved, made of two tenths of an ephah, that they shall be of the fine flour. They shall bake, be baked with leaven as first fruits to the Lord. And you shall present with the bread seven lambs, a year old without blemish, and one young bull, and two rams. They shall be a burnt offering to the Lord with their cereal offerings and their drink offerings, an offering by fire, a pleasing odor to the Lord. And you shall offer one male goat for a sin offering and two male lambs a year old as a sacrifice of peace offerings. And the priest shall wave them with the bread and the first fruits as a wave offering before the Lord with the two lambs. They shall be holy to the Lord for the priests. And you shall make proclamation on the same day. You shall hold a holy convocation. You shall do no laborious work. It is a statute forever in all your dwellings throughout your generations. And when you reap the harvest of your land, you shall not reap your field to its very border. Nor shall you gather the gleanings after you harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and for the stranger. I am the Lord your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. Our New Testament reading comes from 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, beginning with the first verse. Now concerning the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ and our assembly to meet him, we beg you, brethren, not to be quickly shaken in mind or excited either by spirit or by word or by letter purporting to be from us to the effect that the day of the Lord has come. Let no one deceive you in any way. For that day will not come unless the rebellion comes first, and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the son of perdition, who opposes and exalts himself against every so-called God or object of worship, so that he takes his seat in the temple of God, proclaiming himself to be God. Do, uh, Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you this? And you know... What is the restraining him now so that he may be revealed in his time? For the mystery of the lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains it will do so until he is out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed and the Lord Jesus will slay him with the breath of the mouth and destroy him by the appearing of his coming. The coming of the lawless one by the activity of Satan will be with all power and with and with pretended signs and wonders, and with all wicked deception for those who are to perish, because they refuse to love the truth and so be saved. Therefore God sends upon them a a strong delusion to make them believe what is false, so that all may be condemned who do not believe the truth, but as pleasure in the unrighteousness. But we are bound to give thanks to God always for you, brethren, beloved by the Lord, because God has chosen you from the beginning to be saved through sanctification by the Spirit and belief in the truth. To this he called you through our gospel, so that you may obtain the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. So then, brethren, stand firm and hold to the tradition which you were taught by us, either by word of mouth or by letter. Now may our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father who loved you, loved us, and gave us, gave us eternal comfort and good hope through grace. Comfort your hearts and establish them in every good works and word. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.
In many and wondrous ways God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his Son. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you go, will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This is the day the Lord has made. Alleluia. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. Let us pray. Lord, by your Easter mystery, prepare us for eternal life. May our celebration of Christ's death and resurrection guide us to salvation. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask you and thank you to have for all those who have been preserved from COVID-19. And be with all those who continue to suffer from COVID-19. Bring healing and bring a blessing upon this country. Protect all our first responders and keep them safe. Lord, all these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I on this Friday morning, and we hope that you have a blessed and safe day. Uh, stay tuned for Pastor Matthew and Morgan, and I'm sure Gracie, this evening, and I hope to see you tomorrow morning. God bless, and have a great day. Bye-bye.